Hello families, thank you for joining us today. We are so excited about the upcoming school year. While you are here, we will be presenting to you our annual Title I meeting for the 2022-2023 school year. Why are we here? The Every Student Succeeds Act, ESSA, requires that each Title I school hold an annual meeting of Title I families in order to inform you of your school's participation in Title I, explain the requirements of Title I, and explain your rights as parents and family members to be involved. What will I learn? What is a Title I school and my rights as a parent? What can Title I funds be used for and how does our school use them? What is the School Improvement Plan or SIP? What are our school-wide goals? How is parent and family engagement funded? What is the parent and family engagement policy and compact? What curriculum does our school use? And what tests will my child be taking? How can I be involved? What are the Tennessee parental involvement standards? What is a Title I school? Title I was passed in 1965 under the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, ESSA. It's the largest federal assistance program for our nation's schools. Title I schools receive extra funding, Title I dollars, from the federal government. These dollars are used to identify students experiencing academic difficulties and provide assistance to help these students, purchase additional staff, programs, materials, and or supplies. Conduct parent and family engagement meetings, trainings, events, and or activities. What are my rights? The families and parents of Title I students have a right by law to be involved in decisions made at both the school and district level, be provided with information on your child's level of achievement on tests in reading, language arts, writing, mathematics, and science. Request and receive information on the qualifications of your child's teacher and paraprofessionals who are working with your child. Request opportunities for regular meetings to formulate suggestions and to participate as appropriate in decisions about the education of your child, and the school is required to respond to any such suggestions as soon as practicably possible. Our school-wide Title I funds can address the following, personnel, technology and equipment, staff development, parent engagement, instructional materials, other programs all of which benefit the entire school. Roy Waldron, RTI staff for the 22-23 school year. Title I funding is able to be used for personnel to benefit the academic success of all students. Of the RTI staff, the following are funded by Title I. Two instructional coaches, three academic interventionists, one behavior interventionist. Technology and equipment. Title I funding is also used to purchase technology and equipment to benefit the academic success of all students. A few examples of recent purchases with Title I funds are the following. Additional ViewSonic boards for classrooms as needed. Replacement document cameras and laptops as needed. Instructional materials. Title I funding is used to purchase instructional materials to benefit students' academic success. Examples of instructional materials are Orton-Gillingham Materials and Interactive OG, Reading A to Z, iReady Reading, Imagine Learning, Math Instructional Materials and Resources, Bridges Math Intervention Program, Magnetic whiteboards and letters, decodable readers, resource mate, 95% group bridge the gap materials, whisper phones, mirrors for phonetic instruction. 
How is parent and family engagement funded? Title I funding allows for parent engagement activities to take place throughout the school year to benefit students' academic success. For the 2022-2023 school year, we received approximately $15,000 in parent and family engagement funding. We plan to use these funds for Fall Learning Festival, Sneak Peek at the Nine Weeks, Family Math and Literacy Nights, transition meetings, various other family events. You, as a Title I parent and family member, have the right to be involved in how this money is spent. What is a parent and family engagement policy? This policy addresses how the district and school will implement the parent and family engagement requirements of ESSA. Components include how parents and families can be involved in decision making and activities, how parent and family engagement funds are being used, how information and training will be provided to families, how the school will build capacity in families and staff for strong parent and family engagement. You, as a Title I parent or family member, have the right to be involved in the development of this policy. The school parent and family engagement policy will be shared on our website as well as sent home with the school handbook. In addition, the policy can be found at www.rws.rcschools.net. The Rutherford County Title I Parent Engagement Policy can be viewed on the Rutherford County Schools webpage at www.rcschools net or contact Michelle Carter, facilitator of federal programs for more information. What is a student school parent and family compact? A student school parent and family compact is a written commitment that outlines how the entire school community, students, school staff, parents and families will share the responsibility for improved academic achievement. The compact will provide high quality curriculum and instruction, hold parent teacher conferences at least annually in elementary schools, provide parents with reports on their child's progress, provide parents reasonable access to staff, provide parents opportunities to volunteer at the school, ensure regular two-way meaningful communications between family members and school staff to the extent practicable and in a language family members can understand. You, as a Title I parent or family member, have the right to be involved in the development of the compact. The compact will be shared on our website as well as in the student handbook. In addition, the compact can be found here at www.rws.rcschools.net. What curriculum does our school use? The Tennessee Academic Standards provide expectations for what students will know and be able to do at the end of a grade for each subject area. Tennessee's academic standards form the framework for everything taught at Roy Waldron. For more information about Tennessee's academic standards, please see the link below. What test will my child be taking? Throughout the school year, students will take various tests. Three times a year, our students will take benchmark testing. These tests will monitor the student's progress in the areas of reading and math. Easy CBM screens all students on basic reading and math skills. It is also used to progress monitor students receiving tiered interventions. iReady Math used to screen all students three times a year in addition to ongoing online instruction and assessments throughout the year. Throughout the year, teachers will also give students tests on topics being currently covered in the classroom. These are common formative assessments used to assess students' mastery of the grade level essential skills throughout the school year. Teachers will share how your child performs on the above assessments throughout the school year. 
What is the state report card? The Tennessee Department of Education, TDOE, releases an annual report card on Tennessee schools. This report displays state, district, and school level data for each school year. It includes information on demographics, achievement, academic growth, attendance, graduation rate, and more. You can view the data statewide or you can choose a specific district or school. You can view the report card here at the website below. How can parents and families be involved? We need you. Research has proven that family engagement in education has more impact on student achievement than any other factor. Ways families can be involved in the education of their student at Roy Waldron. Encouraging attendance, monitoring grades and schoolwork on an online system or portal, attending family events and meetings, reading school classroom newsletters or websites and connecting to your child's teacher through Class Dojo. What is the School Improvement Plan, SIP? The School Improvement Plan, SIP, includes the identification of the school planning team and how they will be engaging in the planning process, a needs assessment and summary of academic and non-academic data, prioritize goals, strategies, and action steps to help address the academic and non-academic needs of students, teacher and staff professional development needs, budgets and the coordination of resources. The school must include family representatives on the school planning team. What are our school-wide goals? Priority goals from our school improvement plan are as follows. ELA growth and achievement, math growth and achievement, ensure all students receive a well-rounded education and the opportunity to learn. Roy Waldron will recruit, retain, and train effective teachers and building leaders to support our growing and diverse student population. Chronic absenteeism, one area which is a concern and plays a huge role in a student's academic success is chronic absenteeism. What is chronic absenteeism? It is commonly defined as missing 10% or more of instructional days. In our district, that is equivalent to missing 18 days of school. Eight must-haves to reduce chronic absenteeism. Number one, build a daily family schedule. Two, prepare clothes and school bags at night. Three, keep bedtime sacred. Four, wake up before the kids. Five, have an alarm clock in your child's room. Six, Keep regularly scheduled doctor's appointments. Seven, start the day with a healthy breakfast. Eight, time the morning routine and practice it to perform. Tennessee Parental Involvement Standards. State law required the Tennessee Department of Education to develop parental involvement standards in public schools. On July 30th, 2010, the State Board of Education adopted six parental involvement standards. Our school makes a daily effort to implement the following parental involvement standards. Standard one, welcoming all families into the school community. Standard two, communicating effectively. Standard three, supporting student success. Standard four, speaking up for every child. Standard five, sharing power. Standard six, collaborating with community. We encourage you to visit the RCS website by going to www.rcschools.net. Federal Program Central Office staff are as follows. Mark Gullion, Coordinator of Federal Programs and RTI. Michelle Carter, Federal Program Specialist. Laura Schofield, Federal Program Specialist. We thank you for participating in this year's Title I funding presentation.